Hi, today I'm reviewing the Mizon Intensive Snail Repair Ampule. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I will never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com or click on the Amazon link below. So this is a product I've used off and on for quite some time now. Mizon has a lot of different ampules. They've got like a hyaluronic one, a peptide one. I've got all of them, tried all of them. So I haven't reviewed any of them. So this is the first and I'll review and I'll certainly get to the other ones. Um, so Mizon calls this or describes this as snail mucin extract is the hero ingredient of this product working to minimize acne scarring, prevent acne, and address anti-aging concerns. This serum contains many more potent ingredients, making it an all-in-one skin saver. Barberry root extract helps improve the appearance of scars and pigmentation. The serum contains anti-aging peptides and five kinds of vitamins. Cornus fruit and pomegranate extract soothe the skin. So let's get to the basics of this one and see if those are true statements. So my first criteria is packaging, and obviously I've got a opaque dropper bottle for packaging, which it's a pretty liquidy serum, so I totally get the dropper bottle. And you know what? This one's different shape than all the other bottles I have, so I can always find it, so that's always a nice thing. Isn't that a little... You know what? It's annoying that all the dropper bottles, when I get into my cabinet, which everything's up like this high and it's all dropper bottles, sometimes I have to get up on the ladder to find certain ones, or like a step stool. Because they all look the same. So even if they did like a different colored like thing up here, it would be so much better. Anyway, I always go off on dropper bottles. I'll try not to. Okay. My second criteria is alcohol, and this does not, does contain denatured alcohol. Um, thankfully, denatured alcohol isn't the first or second or third ingredient, but it is the fifth ingredient. So it is still a pretty high amount, and you can kind of notice it when you apply the product at kind of starts to evaporate and set quicker than a lot of other products do, which is probably from the alcohol. It gives us kind of a liquidy texture to it, which is nice because snail products have a tendency to be, be, be very gooey, so the alcohol kind of helps with the viscosity of that. However, being the fifth ingredient, it is still a high amount, and there's different schools of thought with skincare. Some people say the first five ingredients are the only ones that matter. Everything else is so little, it doesn't matter. And there's other people that say, you know, it's the whole product. So either school of thought, it's still a lot of denatured alcohol. So personally, if you have drier skin, this is probably one to avoid since alcohol can make skin drier. Uh, certainly if you use this, apply a good moisturizer over it to help uh, prevent any dryness or evaporation or any additional moisture loss that your skin might have from it. So something good to point out. My third criteria is fragrance, and this has no fragrance and no fragrant ingredients, so that's always a good thing. No issue with that. Uh, manufacturing location is Korea. No issue again with that. Ease of use. They recommend applying this uh, morning and evening after cleansing, toning, and essences. So it is uh, kind of a lighter texture to it and absorbs pretty quickly. So uh, I would say after you apply it, give it a minute to soak in or 30 seconds it soaks in pretty quickly and then apply any moisturizer you you like or sunscreen if it's during the daytime afterwards uh, soaks in pretty quickly layers well with other products and you can certainly feel a little bit of that alcohol just applying it every time it's kind of a bummer um, anyway very easy to use no issues with that uh, antioxidants and other beneficial ingredients so the major uh, makeup of this product is snail mucin, and then after that we've got sodium hyaluronate, panthenol, pomegranate extract, cocoa extract, we've got copper peptide in there, which is always nice to see. Then we've got the epidermal growth factor, so some people are uh, trying to avoid using that in your skincare. This does contain that. Then we've got dogwood fruit, which is a source of many antioxidants, as well as vitamin C and flavonoids. It's got a very long ingredient list and some good things in there. So it's always nice to see that they've included some good things in addition to the snail mucin. However, I would have really liked to see them up higher, maybe keep the denatured alcohol towards the bottom of the ingredient list, but I don't always get my wish. But still, they've done a good job including a lot of good beneficial ingredients. In terms of animal testing, Myzon is cruelty-free, so always a good thing. Performance. 
I've used a lot of snail products. I find that they really help my skin a lot. This one isn't my favorite. Uh, it feels certainly like it's more geared towards oily skin types and my dry skin, if I apply this and then if I don't immediately follow up with a moisturizer, my skin tends to end up feeling drier than before. Like had I not even used it, my skin tends to feel drier than if I wouldn't have even used it at all. So that's always a little bit of a disappointment. Personally, the Casa RX has a snail essence, which is different than the cream. The essence is a little bit uh, more a liquidy serum type texture. So I prefer that to this product. I personally think they're both very similar products, uh, but I just prefer that essence to this one. It feels a little bit more hydrating. And uh, anyway, so I think in my opinion, I'd be a lot happier if this didn't have denatured alcohol as the fifth ingredient on the list. I think it just makes it feel a little bit drier and my hand ends up like, I don't know, doesn't, feels a little bit hydrating, but feels a little bit drying at the same time. It's almost hard to explain, but it's both hydrating and slightly drying almost. So, okay, in terms of the price, so this is the full size, which is 1.01 ounces. Don't forget that 0 0.01. Uh, and it retails for $38. Although, like I mentioned yesterday with my Versus video on the Bison, in the Casa RX. Always shop around because I think I got this for like $12. So always check out all the other K-Beauty sites because the $38 is, uh, I've never paid that for a Myzen product. They're usually, I usually pay around $12 to $15 for them. So always do a little bit of shopping. I think uh, like Peach and Lily or Glow Recipe or Soko Glam, they all have the Myzen at the more expensive price, but if you go to like some of the Yes Style or Style Korean or Rose Rose Shop, you can get it much more affordable. So it's, it's worth doing a little bit of Googling before you pick it up. But that retail price is okay. It's not the best price, but it's not as expensive as some other products out there. And then in terms of the It Factor, not my favorite snail product. Not the worst I've tried, but not the best. I like that it's fragrance-free, not a fan of the amount of denatured alcohol in it although it does layer well with other products and it's very easy to use which is nice because a lot of snail products can be super gooey not the friendliest to layer and not the easiest to work into a routine so overall I gave this a 7 out of 10 on the Sarah score scale and it still could have done much better with one major change but uh, what are you gonna do nothing I can do about it uh, anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you guys have had a chance to try this out yet and if you have what your thoughts are, so leave a comment. I always love hearing from you guys. Uh, stay tuned for more tomorrow and thank you guys so much.